What's good YouTube, it's your boy Brian with Mendes Mobile Detail. Make sure you guys like the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So we're gonna go ahead and do a gold detail package. We're gonna go ahead and take you guys step by step throughout the detail process. Showing you guys what's included with the package and just going ahead and just taking you guys along with us throughout the journey. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up button.
All right, you two. So we have our Flex Cordless Polisher here. Now, the reason why I love using something like this cordless is because I can easily just shut off my generator after having it running for hours. It kind of gets irritating. So it's always nice to just turn it off, have some peaceful, quiet noise, and be able to continue working. So we have a cordless polisher here, like I said. I'll link this down below in the description box so you guys could check it out. I love this polisher. It has a five and a half inch backing plate, so you guys can see right here. And we have a six inch actually plate attached to it or pad i mean attached to it right now so you guys can see it's a little bigger um it looks kind of funny but i'm just trying to go ahead and knock this out real quick so i'm gonna go ahead and use uh 3d 3d speed right here you guys this is gonna be our paint enhancement so we're gonna use a orange pad and then we're gonna go ahead and follow up with the 3d speed right here and yeah so gonna go ahead and put three dime size drops on our pad and we're gonna go ahead and give this vehicle a few passes you guys we're not going for perfection so don't try to get too crazy with it I like to spread the product a little bit on my pad here first and we're gonna go ahead and make contact now if you guys want to see a you know step-by-step -step video on how to polish or how to do a paint enhancement Make sure you guys comment down below or give this video a thumbs up so I have an idea on what you guys would like to see. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and start. I'm going to give you guys a quick overview on what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to go ahead and do it. So right here we have certain speeds. Right here you guys can see. There we go. has different speeds, right? So we're going to go ahead and put that on one. One being the slowest. One is the slowest speed, and then I th think six. Six is the fastest. So we're going to go on the slowest speed first. And what we want to do ideally is spread the product around the panel that we're going to go ahead and work on. We don't want to immediately go into fast speed and kind of start agitating and kind of like, you know, messing with the paint until the product is on the paint. So we're going to go ahead and put it on one. All right. And that's good enough for there. Now we're going to go ahead and increase this speed to maybe four and a half, five. I like to use five. And we're just going to go ahead and go side to side. We're going to go side to side. And then we're going to go up and down. Right? Being careful with the curves and stuff like that. And then we're going to go one more time. And we're going to go side to side. And that's going to be the entire process. So we're going to do one pass, two pass, and three passes. Right, so just like that you guys we're all done with the gold detail package offered by Mendes Mold Detailing So we're gonna go ahead and show you kind of the after results of the vehicle now keep in mind This vehicle was in terrible shape when we did get here, but ideally This service would be for kind of like a vehicle. That's very disaster detail like so we're gonna go ahead and show you guys here This is a Jeep Renegade. I'm not too sure on the year, but we went ahead and shine up the trim you guys can see has a lot of trim so we shined and protected that we polished the paint as well as added some protective sealant so we polished it with the 3d speed and then we went ahead and followed it with a bead maker to just remove all of the uh blemishes and the product so and we also went ahead of course and did the windows and glass inside and out and then the interior was also 
thoroughly detailed and clean. Now, as you guys saw in the beginning, some of these seats had a little bit of stain marks. Went ahead and took care of that with our super clean. And realistically, it came off with just, you know, elbow grease and the drill brush. So we didn't have to bring out the steamer or the extractor or anything too fancy like that. We have our air freshener up there hanging. And this steering wheel was filled, was filled with a lot of dirt and grime. So we cleaned that up. Shine up the floor mats and stuff like that, of course. You guys can see, this is a pretty small vehicle. And we have the engine bay. So, we added 303 aerospace in here, as you guys saw me quickly, you know, spray it down. And then I usually let it sit. And then I'll go ahead and, you know, close the hood, keep working on the car. And this is how it looks towards the end once you, you know, reopen it. And you let that 303 dressing, you know, sit for a little while. Alright, so... We're going to go ahead and end the video there, you guys. I really do appreciate you guys for watching this video. I do apologize for not recording the entire interior detail process. You guys saw the condition. It wasn't bad. Like, it wasn't even worth me recording. All right, so without further ado, YouTube, we're going to go ahead and end the video there. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you watched the entire thing, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you comment any questions, any concerns about tools, products, pricing, whatever you want to know comment down below and i'll try my best to get back to you so peace out you guys hustle never settle catch you guys in the next one give me some video ideas because i'm running out of them and yeah peace out you guys hustle never settle keep moving forward see you guys in the next one let's go